Hey guys, Paul here. Over the past few months, I've featured many tech tutorials on this channel, um, which is an extension of my programming experience in Android. I'm putting links in the description to some of my Android apps. I've also really gotten excited lately about microcontrollers and Android code. And check out my videos on using anything from LED lights, um, RF projects, radio frequency, transceivers in the 433 megahertz range, as well as Bluetooth modules. There's just so many possibilities with microcontrollers. It's a lot of fun. Also, I'm using this channel lately as kind of a video resume to show examples of my work, my expertise in these projects in hopes of possibly getting hired by an RF um, company or organization as a technician, as an RF technician. All right, for starters, we're using the 820T Realtek USB uh, video dongle, which is great for FM, software-defined radio, and the antennas over there. Running two programs here today, GNU Radio Companion and Wireshark. For GNU Radio Companion, you may have to run sudo mod probe and then the name of the dongle here. I'm putting this in the description below if you need to run this command. This essentially loads the kernel in Linux for the dongle. Likewise, with Wireshark, I'm finding that I needed to run sudo mod probe USB mon. Uh, again, putting this in the description below so you can file it. Uh, follow it and then running wire, Wireshark as sudo is the only way that it's picking up the, the Realtek dongle. All right, so in GNU Radio Companion, I'm running a Fourier fast transform plot graph here uh, based on 850 megahertz, which is the Verizon band for my area. And I just want to see what kind of data we can pick up in Wireshark. So get GNU Radio Companion running first and then we're going to switch over to Wireshark. So in Wireshark um, select Capture Interfaces and do this with the program stopped and I already know that USB Mon 1 is referring to the um, Realtek dongle because the values on MON2 um, really aren't changing once I um, analyze this. And then you click Start. You click Start right there. And, and let, I'll show you here the data packets that are coming through at 850 megahertz. See that changing here, the packets? It says now PPP bulk unknown, but it definitely has uh, packets of data um, that are coming through here. Now, of course, this is a brief introductory tutorial into Wireshark. Um, from this point, you can analyze any network data, GSM, um, LTE, referring to a 4G. Hey you guys, thanks for watching, and if you're one of the companies or organizations that I'm interested in working for, I'm leaving uh, names to all of those companies and organizations in the description of this video. Drop me a line, drop me an email, and look forward to talking with you soon.